I'm Tom Burns, CTO for Media and Entertainment for Dell EMC, and I'm here at IBC 2016 in Amsterdam showing off a bunch of really interesting applications that show kind of how the post-production uh, world of workflow and applications has changed, even in as little as six months. We've all seen the big changes over the years. Uh, everything is now file-based. And of course, Isilon, as file-based storage, presenting multi-protocol interfaces for all of your workloads, really kind of has helped that transition by enabling all of this workload mobility. You know, the poor data wrangler that used to have to move stuff on and off the sand all the time, now with Isilon, we have the media lake and you keep all of your data in a central repository, tiered it down so that lesser used storage goes on a less costly tier. But now with all flash arrays and 10 gig and 40 gig front end interfaces, we really see that you don't need to have custom silos such as a SAN for your most demanding workloads like uh, 4K. In fact, we're showing behind me Autodesk Flame, very, very demanding uh, workload, uh, uncompressed and compressed 4K workloads going on and off an unmodified 10 gig NAS, just with a normal NFS connection. So if you can do this and, and leverage the power of IP networks instead of having to have a dedicated storage network such as a SAN or a serial digital interface to your VTRs, I mean, all it's not that these are bad interfaces, it's basically that IP won, right? IP has eaten everything in our lives and we're, we're in a position to take advantage of those economies of scale by using IP networks. Uh, other systems that have opened up are things like um, uh, linear and nonlinear uh, post-production systems such as Avid that used to have closed storage systems are now opening up their storage systems so that we're showing an, inter an interface between Interplay and cloud storage uh, from one of our partners in LT. All of this goes to show you that uh, we're both opening up all of these workflows and at the same time we're coalescing on a set of enterprise IT standards. You know, broadcast engineers and uh, enterprise IT uh, network engineers used to always be at odds and yet now we're finding that there's synergies of everybody working in an all IP environment. On the broadcast side that's huge, but it's also happening on the post-production side. You know, we get um, the, the, the blending of what used to be traditional post-production and traditional uh, VFX, now it's all merging into a seamless whole. And so we have production companies that are doing real-time VFX, real-time compositing, real-time production, post-production VFX, and um, making all of the versions that they need to send for studio approvals, for creative editorial, and for finish editorial. It's all just in one seamless pool of data. And by bringing the applications to the data, instead of having to migrate them off uh, to a different silo, we're seeing those efficiencies that make these real blockbuster features much more uh, inexpensive to produce.